Well, the cleanup continues as we uh, start to clean out our office space for the new tenants in the newsleader office. And uh, this is my little office. I'm uh, just giving you a really quick panoramic. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, I've got uh, my main desk here is now completely empty. Uh, there were a couple of filing cabinets, uh, actually three file cabinets. Two have been moved out of this room. But uh, we're going through some of the other stuff that's uh, in our office. <laughs> I wanted to share with you this. This is how we used to transport the paper to the print shop every Monday. It was in this folder and we would have uh, pages that were prepared. And this is actually what we would call a plate. So this is a, an actual plate of a page that was completed. And uh, the, these are actually wax. Believe it or not, these are attached with wax. And this is how we would deliver these uh, pages to our print shop in Penticton. Now this is the last item that was delivered in this manner. So I'm kind of kind of amused that uh, actually is uh, one of our information guides that was produced back in 2000, 2001. Actually, this won't be the last item that was delivered because uh, we were delivering newspaper pages after this. So, uh, okay, so here's a newspaper page that uh, dates back to May 6, 2003. And as I said, these all these items, all these elements are on wax paper. Uh, these particular items would be printed off, a uh, special kind of paper, and then run through a waxer, which would put little beads of wax, and then you would lay it out on this particular grid paper, and this is how we would uh, make the newspaper, and we did this for quite some time. Again, here's another page from uh, Winter Guide in 2000. Okay, so here's an actual wax page, uh, one of the grid pages. Uh, I can feel that there's some wax on there already. You may be able to see it in the, the video, but that's how we would actually lay out a page for the newspaper. We would put our little headers on here. So for example, these pages have the, the newsleader header with the date for that current issue, April 29, 2003, page seven. And then we would just build our elements like a big giant jigsaw puzzle, wax them, fit them on the page, and eventually fill out the whole space. So that's how we used to make the, the paper before we started doing computer files. So here's Here's a classified page, a uh, classified ad page, this one August 5th, 2003. And so as I said, we would make these little wax pages and or, uh, pieces of uh, these elements and we would put it together like a jigsaw puzzle and line it up on the lines and keep everything nice and clean and we would just do it this way. Uh, with the computer technology that eventually came along, it made making these pages actually a whole lot easier. Uh, I preferred doing it this way because uh, on the computer because I just found the visual easier. You just had an element that you would just click and drag and put into a place instead of having to, you know, cut this. And okay, is it going to fit in here? How are we going to get it in here, right? So the click and drag thing I much prefer, and uh, it worked out quite good uh, in the long run, quite well, I should say, in the long run. This particular page from our Christmas section in 2002, uh, here's an unfinished page or a partial page that was torn down. Uh, this one from the Christmas 2001 issue, and like I said, just, you know, various other pages. Uh, this one from April 22nd, 2003, this would have been a TV guide section with a TV guide puzzle that we would make. Uh, and just, you know, the, we call these shop ads. And so basically a shop ad is when you're promoting yourself. And so, did you forget or miss your ad, your deadline is, and so on and so forth. So we would do all these kind of things. Oh, I love this. This is a, a rodeo ad that I uh, did many years ago. And this ran in the paper dated May 6, 2003. Again, this is, you know, just some of the elements that we used. And this is how the newspaper got delivered to our print shop in uh, Penticton. They would take uh, pictures of these particular plates, as I said, and then they would just uh, run the negatives off. Uh, we have the information guide in there. Anyway, that's how we used to do it. And uh, I thought I'd share that with you now that uh, we're getting close to pulling the pin on this particular office and uh, cleaning out as much as we can. Uh, it's amazing some of the things you find when you uh, do some clean out.